The judiciary has for the past years been subject to intense criticism and widespread perception. Chief Justice Kwesi Eniniabwa says there's a determined effort to build strong institutions that will instill confidence in Ghanaians in the area of justice delivery. Management is determined to build a trustworthy and robust institution as can be clearly gathered from the various reform initiatives underway. We cannot enhance our efficiency in the justice system without the application of ICT solutions, which would specific focus on the courts in particular and you as staff must ensure that these interventions work because we must be abreast with what is going on in other jurisdictions. He spoke during the first quadrennial delegates congress of the Senior Staff Association of the Judicial Service of Ghana. The association, with members as court clerks, interpreters, registrars, and bailiffs, broke away from the Judicial Service of Ghana in 2018. Justice Enin Yabua challenges members of the association to abide by the ethics of the profession. The judiciary and the judicial service in the last few years have been subjected to intense criticisms and it behoves us to change the narrative in order to improve the perception of the public and to encourage them to seek legal redress instead of resorting to taking the law into their own hands. You are encouraged to be of good behavior at all times and treat court users with utmost respect. They are the reason for which we exist and we must endeavor to create a conducive environment, especially in the courts. I wish to draw your attention to the fact that our services constitute public goods and as staff of the judicial service, you cannot remain insular and detached from the regular accountability demands made of the judiciary. Members voted to elect executives to steer the affairs of the association in the next four years. The newly elected president of the association assures the leadership will ensure members contribute their quota in enhancing Ghana's justice delivery system. You know the judicial staff are the supporting staff of the judiciary. So one key area, like I mentioned, is capacity building. If um, people are not well equipped, how do you expect them to um, efficiently manage their tasks, you know, to, to increase productivity? So capacity building is key. And all, we are also looking at encouraging the staff through some motivation schemes like award schemes for hard work and even long service. So um, as a new association, indeed, as you said, there's a lot that we have to do. Um, to gain our independence, especially in the judicial service of Ghana. So one um, major hurdle before us is to get our bargaining certificate so we can bargain for the senior staff of the judicial service of Ghana. Yes, and then we have other plans that we have also outlined for the benefits of staff. And we, have, we already have a welfare policy that takes care of their pensions. We are hoping to add a lot more. We are also looking at um, retirement benefits, and that would let us revisit um, a few issues, especially those surrounding the um, CAP 30, yes, that is given to public servants. We would also like to benefit from that um, um, provision. So those are some of the things that we are moving towards, but most importantly, we need to secure our bargaining certificate. The theme for the conference was promoting efficiency in justice delivery, the role of staff and management. The leadership of the Senior Staff Association of the Judicial Service of Ghana is pledging to work hard to enhance Ghana's justice delivery system. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumasi.